with a lot of pictures and videos, it'd be, it'd be, a, it'd be a thing of like, I'll be wanting to say it, but Mika said it first. You know, this, too, like. this crazy, but I think I get more love outside of Baltimore more than I do in any, like here. Like, I think any other city know me way more than you know me here. That's like, these girls lost. Like, they really lost, bro, I'm telling you. And I said it first, I ain't regardless. Yo, what's up? Yo, it's your boy Carter's Vision, and this is my moment the spot, like with my man Sean, for sure. And we got the one up on me. Yeah, for sure. Carter Vision. I call him Ben, but y'all call him Carter. Carter <laughs> Vision. You feel me? Mm hmm. So look, bro, I want to get things started off. Like, first of all, I got to give you a flower. Like, you I'm a flower too, doing your thing. You nah, for sure. For sure. The time of the house vibes. How you feel? Um, scale of one to ten, right like, now, uh, I probably give myself like a seven. Only reason I see a seven is because um I'm at that age now, 24 years old, um trying to like elevate to the next level. You know, you been you feel like you've been at the same level for for so long, and it's like you know you're trying to exit to even a bigger level. You get what I'm saying? And it's, it's it'd be hard, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes trying to manage so many things at one time and, and still trying to up your level and and life in general. And then you know you got so many different people. Uh, pulling at you at times, it could be a lot, you know. But I see a seven, you know. You can't complain. Keep that, keep it pushing. I mean, that's, that's passing. Yeah, you know for sure, saying? definitely. Do you, when, when do you think you're gonna be at like a ten? If there's ever. I mean, life go. I'm 24. Sometimes I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to have everything figured out at 23, 24, yeah. 25. Is it's not really, you know, meant to be like that. A lot of people might look at my life and say, well, he got perfect life or he got everything figured out. And I really don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm still figuring it out like everybody else. I might have had like a cool head start above a lot of people, but I'm chasing the same thing everybody else, chasing, trying to be the best, trying to be the greatest. Um, I still a lot of room for improvement to get better. Those are like my main things to do. I uh, want to perfect my craft, get better at my craft, and be the best at my craft, so... Those are things alone can, you know, drive you crazy when you're really trying to chase greatness and you're already in that seat. It could, it could, it could fuck up your head a little bit at times. No, I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like, because I can really attach to this, bro. I put a lot of pressure on myself, like, yeah. on a daily. I don't think we really talk enough about that mental battle that everybody goes on in our head. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like you also, too, a lot of people, they look at Instagram and they look at other people's lives and they say, all right, they can start comparing, but the thing is, you can't really compare yourself to nobody else. You gotta, you know, go your route. Like, if somebody probably looking at me like, damn, I want to get the college vision level. The whole time, I'm looking at a kid art, like, nah, I'm trying to get the kid art level. You get what I'm saying? So it's mm. always somebody that's, you chasing, you get what I'm saying? Or you, but in reality, you just gotta go your, go, go your pace and go at your race, because there's honestly no competition to the top. There's room for everybody. You just gotta be willing to run your race and really put the work in. Like, what you're doing right now is, is no competition. You should be in competition with yourself, I feel like. It's, it's no shortcut in it. You got to enjoy the journey, fall in love with the journey. Whatever happened during the journey is what happened. Nah, it's fast. Yeah, whatever happened during the journey really happens, bro. I ain't going to yeah. lie. Like, a lot of us be doing, though, like, people will try for, like, four or five months, and they not on a certain level. They really quit. Like, you really got to mm -hmm. be grounded with this. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you from Baltimore, but you live in New York now, right? Yeah, New York in here. Okay, okay. Back and forth a lot. Okay. So, like, with New York, what was probably, like, the biggest culture shock for you living there? I was dirty. And, like, uh, <laughs> Coming from Baltimore, you saying that? Because Baltimore. Uh, New York way dirty than Baltimore. Uh, top tier. You got to think, Baltimore got some parts that's, like, just filthy. But New York is, like, yeah. everywhere. It's more like a rat. Everywhere you walk, uh, there's all the trash and shit. It's, like, then it's, like, the amount of people. Definitely, I would say it's the amount of people, but. That would probably be the biggest culture shock for me. All the people, so like, is that, is that shit real? Like, you walk down the street, people would be bumping you and they don't say nothing? That's like in Times Square and stuff like that. The places I be in is more like urban and chill, calm, collective, but you could catch stuff like that. But everybody in New York, the thing I like, they mind their business. Like, they go, they go on with their day. That's like the richest city in the world. And you, mm -hmm. you might walk past four millionaires in a two block radius, you would never know. Damn. It's just that. People just mind their business like that. And they just regular, like, I feel like that was the biggest culture shock for me, too, like the fashion. Like, I was starting to get into fashion living in New York on, like, a crazy level. Like, it was it was starting to be like, I'm getting into statement pieces. And when I would come home to Baltimore, it would be like, damn, what the fuck you got on? But the whole time in New York, it was kind of, like, regular to, to wear certain things. Mm. So, for me, it was like, 
like from the first interview we did to now, I got way more into fashion too. So that's like a super culture shot for me. I feel like too. Oh, hold on, if I was walk outside in New York and this, like I'd be good. I got, Look, they, I got they, a wide they, track. Like, they, wide they, 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 they think you on the regular shit. Like, they would oh, think. No, and it's acceptable. Like, it's super acceptable. Oh, all right. Like, they don't care what you wear for real. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. It's easier oh, to put on pieces. So you can really be yourself more. Be yourself. It's easy to put on a crazy fire piece. It could be a whole yellow thing. People might be just walk past you like, no, that's hot as shit. That's fine. You could be mm. more creative. Here's like, you'll get judged or people will say, no, nah, he gay or... He does see that. It's way more judgmental here, I feel like. But I don't want any unnecessary and unsolicited opinions, bro. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You know, like, you, you, bro, you start off, like, the Ben, I remember, like, yeah. down late. Clifton really, like, trying to get it. Even with Ford mm-hmm. and a Vanguard mm-hmm. on a basketball hoop. So it was like, basketball is your first love, right? Yeah. And now, you know, like, you're into film production and mm-hmm. photography. Like, the way you was approaching the game of basketball, right? Mm-hmm. What kind, like, those tactics, do you kind of use those in the photography world? Definitely. I feel like, with me, it was always my my work ethic, the things that, you know, I put my mind to and how I locked in. And I think that was always what got me above people that was more skillful than me. There was a lot of people when I first came in the game that was better than me, like, taking pictures, doing video. It was just way nicer than me. But my my work ethic was different. I'm standing in the studio late hours. I'm, 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 I'm trying to learn. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing whatever need to be done for the team to win, not just me. So, you know, those things alone is, like, kind of what gets you over the hump alone is your work ethic. So when I was younger, I, I was, and I was like that in basketball, too. Like, you know, I wasn't always the fastest, the quickest. I couldn't jump the highest, but I was going to outwork you. And it ain't really matter what task you put me to, but I'm going to do it. So that definitely transpired great to, like, what I did with photography. That work ethic, where do you think it kind of comes from, like, for you growing up? Just, I don't know, my mother, grandmother, uh, just saying them work, like, you know what I'm saying, saying single parents work like that, that molds you to be everything you set out to be, you know what I'm saying, you don't mm. have a choice but to be the best, like, I, would, I always told myself I'm going to be like the first millionaire that come from my whole family tree, and that's something I'm, you know, really aiming to be, and something I know I can, I can do, it's just a matter of, like, you know what I'm saying, you want to do it. Oh, you want to do it, it's going to happen though. No, for sure. Right, for sure, we all see it, I ain't going to lie. So it's like. You had to stop playing basketball, right? Yeah. You went to college for it. Like, how did it make you feel when you had that realization? Like, bro, I can't keep trying to play basketball. I got to switch something up. Like, a lot of bad, like things with basketball, it, it turned into pipe dreams. And I didn't want to be like that. It's still people I went to school with now still trying to hoop and trying to figure life out at 24. You know what I'm saying? I was younger, and I kind of. That's not funny, but it's like, damn. Yeah, so I didn't want to be like that. I was real listening with myself. I'm 5'11". I ain't going to the NBA, but let me start a business. You get what I'm saying? So it, it affected me to a certain extent. This is what I worked for my whole life. But I was more so so fed up with the business side of basketball at that point. I was like, all right, let me start my own business. Like, I'm smart enough to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I you would understand that back then, how b- basketball worked? Yeah, man. It was more so for me. I ain't, I ain't feel like I wanted the coach to be telling me what to do no more. Like, on that mm. type of time, I wanted to be my own boss. I wanted to... And, and basketball is very much so political too. So it's like even to this day, like if you go to the NBA, it's super political. It's of course you're making money, so it's cool for it to be that political. But it, it was too political for me at that point in my life. I was like, I'm cool. So was you one of those players that was kind of like, I know you can be coached, but you kind of like, mm-hmm. like uncoachable in a sense, but you kind of like voice your opinion a lot. No, so at the high school, I went to prep school, whereas though I went to school like the number one point guard in the country. Coming from a situation in Baltimore where I'm known in the city, this is Maryland is my is my town. You get what I'm saying? And I'm going to D.C. to a prep school with kids all over the country. Of course, you're gonna go for a kid that's ranked top ten in the country at the at his position over somebody like me. So it was like you know I was more so I was cool off of that the political side of it. You know what I'm saying? So that was more so situation for me. I was like I think I was. Yeah, I've seen many times in sports, bro. Like you have like. You ever had the, the player that kind of like got out the mud bro, from from day one? Mm-hmm. Not saying the more decorated player didn't mm-hmm. do that, but it's kind of like y'all be basing off and like, mm-hmm. you know and what I'm saying? And I like, feel like, honestly, I'm glad it worked out the way it worked, but I think I just went to the wrong prep school. Mm-hmm. And I think I just made that. So you went to a different school, you think outcome would have been different? I think so, for sure. I think I probably should have just went straight to college. So, like, that decision, who like who was in your ear when you were making that prep school decision? Uh, a lot of different people. That's the thing. And I'm saying people not even really here right now. A lot mm. of people, like, when I hopped out that basketball weed, they hopped off it with me. You know what I'm saying? I never heard nothing from them again. For real? High school. 
it was people giving me free shoes, free socks, all types of stuff. But when you don't pan out how people think you pan out, it's like, all right, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when I got on this wave and I made it, a lot of them people came back. But for me, it was like, nah, I'm cool. And I even know for this, like, I understand how it works. If Carter's vision was to fall off the day tomorrow, which I'm not, but you know what I'm saying? I understand how the game works. I understand when culture, cancel culture come and like, nah, fucking ain't hot no more. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be prepared for those things and still remain true to yourself. Nah, I ain't lie. People don't be prepared for that, bro. Like, man. it ain't. I be telling everybody, bro, it's not hard to get the motion, bro. Like, it's hard man. keeping it. Yeah. That's facts. Like, a lot bro, of people don't understand, too. Everybody don't want to see you win. No, and don't. that's and that's the hardest part of the game. Like I I remember Drake said something on his list. He was like, he was like, until all my G's start from the beginning, understand nobody praying for you when you win it. And that's that means so much because you think like all this success, people saying you with this person, that person, you think they want to see that shit. There's a wow. few that's genuine that might want to, but like the more interviews you get, the more celebrities you bring on here or whoever, you think people want to see that? They're not getting that. They don't want to see that. But yeah. you gotta understand it, see through it, see me. I'm small enough to see through it. I know I can look in your eyes and tell if you ain't happy for me. I be knowing, but yeah. that come with time, that come with growing, right? that, that come with understanding people, you know what I'm saying, reading people. Like, with me, it's, it's easy for me to really be happy for somebody because I'm just that type of person, but everybody wasn't built with that mindset of you see somebody else get blessed and you happy for them, you're going to get blessed tenfold by exactly. just waiting and, waiting your turn. Bro, like, nobody yeah, that, bro. Like, you yeah. really get some trash and then, like, everybody really, like, I need to go in. Like they, they, they want a piece. And they don't get if they don't get a piece, it's like, uh, they kinda fall back up off you. Nah, no, nah, but you play your part, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, like the right the right person, like I'm gonna I'm gonna say a person like you. Like mm-hmm. a person like me. I, I believe I'm the genuine. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like you play your part, I'm gonna get that back tenfold, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But a lot of people don't be doing that. Like, yeah, like, do. like with me, it was like, I don't know, there's a lot of people that was better than me when I first came in the game, but I was always happy for people. Yeah, I don't know where to come from, like knowing that they I don't want to see nobody ever betting anybody. They probably more like more like seasoned than you. Yeah, I was. I was a lot of people way more seasoned seasoned than me when I first came in the game for sure. But you understood that like off rip. Yeah, hell yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I gave people their flowers too. Like, like George Torrent, he was one person when I first came in the game. Where I would see him everywhere I went, and when George, when George see this, if he see it, he had no like at times he felt like my arch nemesis because. He was coming up with fire videos, and I was like, damn, I got to top this. But I was just coming up with videos, but they were just faster. So in his head, he probably like, damn, this little nigga taking all my clientele. Or, you know what I'm saying? A little shit that's going on because he just fast. But George Rick was, like, top tier. Like, I would study his shit. But he was so much more seasoned in the game than me. It was like, you know what I'm saying? But that's like a big brother to me now. You know what I'm saying? He, he a big reason and motivation of, you know, why I was continuously jumping levels. You know how I was jumping. It was because of George. So shout out to George too. Shout out to him. We gonna call him GT. GT, you know yeah, GT. 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 For sure. You know, bro, you real big on like. The Send money. that to him too. I want him because if I don't, you, oh yeah, you I got, sure you. I'm got you. I'm gonna tag him. Send Instagram with Diamond I got you. I'm gonna chop that clip. You feel me? You you real big on like the mantra though of like um, it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. Yeah. So it's like I want to know like. Like, just understand that. How much did that kind of, like, push you? Like, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. For yeah. me, for me, it's still pushing me now because I feel like even right now, it's like, it's so much pressure for me to get better and top what I already done. It's like, all right, I got to I gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, when people already feel like you started off a little hot, there's people that's waiting until you get 27, 28. They wait in a passion and be like, no, he was hot when he was young. But let's see, you know what I'm saying? So it's... It's still going. It ain't nothing that's going to stop. So it's definitely still going for sure. No, nah, that's bad. Damn, people really be waiting for that to be old. I mean, yeah, you waiting to pass you. I mean, yeah, it's always next man up out here. Yeah, you waiting to pass you yeah. for sure. You got to keep up in your level. No, nah, I'm fair. I think, I think, is it Steve Jobs who said this? Like, mm-hmm. every day we're evolving. So the new, like, it's always a new thing coming out, and the new is you, basically. So, like, right now, you the new thing, right? Uh-huh. But it was always something that was new. So that's kind of, like, tied uh-huh. in. People trying to pass you or not. Yo, I remember at one point, like, during the last interview, you was telling me. And it's crazy because me personally, I never heard this. Uh-huh. But I remember you was telling me, like, people in the city were saying, like, don't book with Carter Vision and, and shit like that. In 2020. Yeah, I didn't, like, me personally, I didn't know about this. You feel me? Uh-huh. But it's like, 
why were they saying it, bro? And I want to know, like, like how that make you feel also. Um, I think it was like I did. I did a job. I don't even want to bring up no old, old shit like that. That ain't know my level no more. But uh, I did a job for a girl, man. I did a party. And I think I sent her her pictures in, a, in one month, the month that I did it. And she lost it. It was like a week transfer, so it expired. So she hit me like three months later asking for like, you know, where where the picture's at. And it was a situation of like uh, three months later. Like, yeah, I don't that weight don't last. Yeah, I don't know where that where them pictures at. So she, she asked like three months later. And then uh, after that, it was somebody else that said something else after that. And then it was like a trick with fact. The person that said it, she had like a little bit of clout, I guess, in the city. So, uh. It like a trick or effect. It kept happening for real. Back to back, she hopped on live. The whole city, I feel like the whole city on live. Waiting for me to hop on. She hopped on live? Yeah. Discussing it? Yeah. You joined? Did you join? No, she wanted me to join, but it, I never seen this many people just laughing and just wanting to hop on live. And, and she, like, that's childish, though, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know the show, so I ain't disunited. You watch it, you watch it. But yeah. I feel like, why? Like, bro, bro, it's sad because the city really be lining up for somebody to really get mm-hmm. another person's ass or oh, thank you, Ray T. Mm-hmm. Damn, so like I always knew though I was bigger than like anything like that. Like I don't really be giving my energy to stuff that's like even back then I knew like I was gonna be big. So even though it was like a lot for me, everybody feel like they trying to cancel you in a way that really only made me bigger and it kinda had me like, damn, you thought you thought you was doing something and you only made me bigger, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like a whole yeah. other level. So the feeling you had when that was going on, what was it? Motivated, like I really, I, y'all want to say cancel me. Now it was really, I bet, try to cancel me now. You get what I'm saying? It was mm-hmm. like, now you can't book me. Not even saying like that, but it's levels. Yeah, no, nah, that's real though. I ain't gonna lie, you got to turn that to motivation. Damn, mm-hmm. y'all better not ever say nothing like that about moment spot. Like, that's crazy. Y'all got to go ahead with that. It could come. It could come. It, it, nah, 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 for sure. sure. It could come. You got to be ready for all that shit that come with. It's good, the good, the bad. I feel like all publicity is good publicity, though, bro. I ain't going to lie. As long, I feel like you got your, as long as you got your head on straight. No, okay. Yeah, you personally. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't fool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even in the council culture, like, nowadays people tweet shit. They, they say little shit about you on the internet. It's, it's up to you to really understand. You know what I'm saying? You know what's true within yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. especially the bigger you get, it's going to be more fake stories. It's going to be more... um. Bloggers, it's, it's like an internet filled generation, so you gotta understand everybody blogging, everybody hopping on this, saying this, saying that. You gotta understand what's real and what's not. Yeah, right now it's like the kids it's the... and this generation believe anything people say, they uh, they just into a whole nother world, I feel like. Yeah, no, nah, like right now it's the age of information, but it's like a lot of this shit be misinformation, bro. Yeah, I feel like, like it's, a con- it's a content driven, uh, content make money, don't take me wrong, but I feel like it's a content driven society now, and people believe anything, and people just put anything on the internet, and it's kind of like, I be falling bad from people that's like caught up in the internet, because even before I got on, I was never intrigued by celebrities' lifestyles, I was never intrigued by what other people got going on that's richer than me. Yeah. We got more money than me, and I think that's where a lot of people mess up too. Like they be more involved in what a celebrity got going on in their life. That nine times out of ten is cat. If they see it in the papers or whatever, it's real. It's cat. So for me, it's like worry about yourself and what you got going on. Nah, fast. A lot of us spend too much time scrolling, bro. Like yo, why you worry about Carly being her implants, bro? Mm-hmm. You got a bill due in thirty minutes. You getting? Mm-hmm. Real spell. Yo, it's like. When you first started working with Mel, you was the intern with him, right? Mm-hmm. So you was living with him, right? In New York, yeah. All right. So it's like, bro, you were around Mel like a lot, bro. Yeah. What? What's some like the traits and qualities you think you kind of like picked up from me? Uh, definitely business, business savvy, um, hard worker, um, getting your respect for sure, um, but more so definitely just standing on business and understanding business and how to work business, um. Getting the things done that you need to get done, taking care of your family, all of those things is um things that I feel like I've learned from. Uh, ain't nothing really bad to say. I feel like if anybody ever had anything bad to say about bro, I'm standing I'm standing ten toes behind him because that's somebody who put me in position, and he don't really be getting enough credit for the things he do. That's in real life. Like a lot of people get caught up in the internet. He take care of his whole family plus other people, so it's like 
anybody have anything to say, I'm standing behind that, especially if it's anything negative. Same for you. If somebody see something about you that's like false, I'm standing ten to behind uh-huh. that. Likewise, bro, I respect bro, that. For sure. Like real shit. Hey, I ain't like y'all would have, y'all would have told me don't book a call vision, please. Mm-hmm. Now y'all can't get an interview. You know what I mean? But now, nah, bro, like I wanna know like was that ever like a conversation you had with me when you asked him like why he take a chance on you? Or even wonder why he needed like a photographer with him twenty four seven. Honestly, no, I was just blessed that he even wanted me in a in a position. I ain't, I don't think you asked them type questions. It's like you don't think so. I I think me, I'm just a real curious person. So I'll probably ask him like. I mean, that over amazing. time, over time, yeah, you figure it out over time. But I think I was just so caught up in the moment. I ain't really like you know what I'm saying. I'm just let's get this, let's get to it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I so it. It's now it's what year four, so. You know, it's, it's it's it is what it is now. That's big deal. Nah, fact. So it's like you getting love in Philly? Yeah, hell yeah. I, I, honestly, I, I I think I get more love. This this crazy, but I think I get more love outside of Baltimore more than I do in any like here. Like I think in, any other city know me way more than you know me here. Like Man, that's that's, how that's is, all bro. over the world. Not even in America. Like in Africa, London. Uh. Everywhere, bro, in the world, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like more people know me outside of Baltimore than people know me here. Damn, it's that's crazy. crazy. That, that's kind of real, though. You know, I was talking to um, you, you know, Tyrese Chambers play up um, Maryland. yeah, play up Maryland. Shout yeah. out to uh, Tyrese. But, like, we, we was talking when I was trying to have an interview, and he was just telling me like, he was like, everybody in Baltimore like they bang on me, but like when I went to like Miami, mm-hmm. the love different. Yeah, he was saying like, like he had to kind of like get motion in Miami because mm-hmm. this love here. This really like a a crab in a barrel type of city. So it's yeah. like you know me. I ain't never really care if you fuck with me, fuck with me. But I feel like it's such a crab in a barrel city. It's kind of hard to really get that get that love. Like for me, I might walk in a room. Somebody might know me from back in the day or something like that, and I just probably don't recognize you. I didn't see you. The ultimate stigma is, oh, uh, he cocky, he arrogant. Whole time, you really don't even know me. Like, I never seen you before. Or if I did, I don't remember. So it's like yeah, an easy miss. You know what I'm saying? People that know me know I show the most love. Yeah, I don't think I people understand that, though, bro. Like, it be a lot of times, like, you, bro, you done probably talk to, like, 10,000 people throughout the day. That's a lot. And then there's that one person that and, ain't seen and, you since. And it be like, for real, for real, we really talking real numbers. I put more people on on the photography shit in Baltimore than any other photographer here. That's well, a, how, how that's you a fact. When well, you be saying, like, how to, like, bro, the whole city take pictures and down there. That's love. Because it takes somebody that's young and fly to do that. Like, really, that's the wine talking me talking like that a little bit, <laughs> man. But it's like, it takes somebody to really do that. I was the one who, in 2020, was at Euphoria. Everybody got PPP money. Everybody charged off. Of, I'm in 2020, locked in. I ain't do no scam in 2020. I was just, all right, let me lock in with this. That's good. Everybody got money. They were the baddest chicks. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to stay down. I got my girl. I got my camera. I was cool. So it's like, they had a line, you know. Nah, in fact, I remember I seen a lot of y'all in that LV store. I ain't seen y'all in there again. But I seen a lot of shit going all on. All them chicks, all them vibes. I just... I I so was that the most focused phase you think in 2020? Uh, no, nah, 2021, cause that's when everything started. You gotta think once you get to each level, shit start over all over again. Yeah, new levels bring new devils. Yeah, so new responsibilities, all that. So for me, it was like I really had a fully, 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 fully lot in for real on a whole nother spectrum. So. 2021 was definitely like a lot. Man. Okay. You know, uh, I don't know, bro, what, was y'all in Dubai when y'all took this? Y'all, y'all African? No, it is uh, Dubai, yeah. All right, so you took this, bro. Like, I like that. First of all, like, I really sound like a real photographer. The composition, yeah, I know a little sign with this photo. Uh-huh. is crazy, bro, because you got him fully framed almost. Mm-hmm. And, like, bro, you just captured it at the moment. And he got a little snoop. You know, around his neck with Meek Chain, but I got another story behind this. Because I ain't like, gonna lie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something too. I feel like Meek don't. I'm gonna keep it a bay with a lot of pictures and videos. It be, it be a, it be a thing of like I be wanting to say it, but Meek will say it first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he a very much so visionary, and he got like a lot of director in him too. Like 
He was the one who was like, nah, like, let me put the uh, little sleep chain on the tiger for real. That's hard. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to say it, but it's like, I don't want to sound like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be forgetting how crazy he is, like, visually to even think to do something that I would actually do myself. So it's like. The whole time the idea is making up, though. Like, the idea yeah. is matching. Like, you just. Yeah, oh, yeah. So we got a video we did with this, too. Did you touch the tiger? Yet. Huh? Did you touch the tiger? I don't know. That tiger kept trying to attack the... So he did a he did a video <laughs> with a guy named Byron. He from uh, I think he he from somewhere in the Caribbean. But the tiger kept trying to attack Byron. <laughs> he kept trying to attack him. Yeah, yeah, no cat. He really kept trying to attack him. Oh, he not that, tame? Not no. Nah, that tiger was crazy a little bit, bro. That's why I, even when I got up close taking pictures, I had a twenty four by seventy lens on. Twenty four by seventy. You zoom in, zoom out. I had that on, so as I got that on, I'm zooming in as close as I can because I ain't trying to get too close. And I'm like shooting a video while the tiger right there. So hold on, hold up. Meek took and put the chain around this crazy animal. No, no, no. The the person who was uh had the uh, chain on him, he did it. I was ready to say Meek dragging, bro. Yeah, the tiger. It was crazy. just it was just a matter. It was too many people around the tiger. Yeah, it's still an animal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, that's crazy. Though. How was that whole Dubai experience though? Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been blessed enough to go three times, bro. I think actually four. So okay. in between being with me, I think I went to Dubai four times. So that's every time I went, it's been love, and it's just been like a dope ass experience. I love Dubai. That's like a, a second home for me. I've been four times. So that was the last time I went, which is like last November, right before my birthday. So, so like, is that your favorite country to visit outside of? I love the Bahamas. I love when go to the Bahamas. And then it's like, I want to go to Jamaica, too. I never had a chance to go to Jamaica, either. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I heard Jamaicans get lit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, it's dangerous up there right now, though. Oh, yeah, because ain't they, um, it's a lot. I know they got, um, white people down there basically trying to come in there, yeah. force all these rules, mm-hmm. make a thing gone for it. They got to get their policies in order. Mm-hmm. Any other a, a, a dictatorship over there? See, I don't know. Uh, like, I just knew that. <laughs> I don't know what that is, like, Something like that. It's like, bro, you be locked in with, like, outside of Meek Mill, right? You locked in with, like, a couple of artists. Like, mm-hmm. I know I, I seen you working with Uzi, Lil Baby. But, mm-hmm. uh, you just worked with Dave East before, right? Too, mm-hmm. right? Fab. So it's like, yeah. as far as, like, like, like Ben, like, you person, mm-hmm. as far as, like, your approach, bro, how is it when you come in these rooms with these classic people, bro, and really, like, Building a relationship and then transfer transferring it to like a business relationship, like we're actually working with. Uh, honestly, I just be be myself, be regular. Um, with thing with people, I I feel like that's what you want to call like as the word celebrity. Um, you can't really treat them like that. And for me, it's like I don't really come in the game. Like I came in the game as me, a kid from Baltimore. I ain't really hype over nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who you is. I'm, I'm me, you know what I'm saying? So the same way I'm yeah. talking to you, the same way I be talking to anybody else. I think that's the number one thing that when you come from the game, you gotta have that that Baltimore shit to you. Like, yeah, I fuck with your music, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of what you do, <laughs> but I'm not a fan of you. Like, and I think that'd be a misconstrued thing where a lot of people get it misconstrued. They be so hype over people, they, they'd be forgetting, like, no, I'm a fan of what you do, not a fan of you. So that's like a thing of, you know, people got to understand the difference. Like, I'm quick to be like, nah, yo, your tape was hot. Like, that song you put out, that shit hot as shit, I'm, I'm fucking with you. And that's it, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people, they praise a person that you don't even know. Right. It's cool to fuck with a tape or what they did. That's cool. That's showing love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You give them any flowers. But when you get caught up, man, nah, what the fuck he was wearing? Like, damn, he had this on. How much his watch cut? That bitch, like... You find out, you know what I'm saying? That's why when a nigga say somebody find out, that's what they mean. Anybody can show love, anybody can get somebody flowers, but, you know, unless that's your friend and y'all built that type of rapport, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that. Like, I would do that with Meek. Like, nah, Meek, that's that's a fire watch. That fit fire. Yeah, y'all got that kind of you relationship. Got, you got that rapport. Fab, I'll do that with Fab. Man, him got that rapport. Like, respectfully, I'm not doing that with a little baby or anybody that, you know, I'd be around them, I'd show them love, like, what you dropped was hot, we could do work together, and there ain't no diss to anybody out there, but it's like, you don't really know these people, you know what I'm saying, so that's why I think a lot of people in the game, when they first coming in, they just be too hype around, like, who they feel like a person is, instead of just, you know what I'm saying, really understanding, like, you somebody too. 
I feel like that kind of make like celebrities like uncomfortable though, bro. Like people mm-hmm. like acting like that, mm-hmm. like acting all fanned out. I'm sure you probably seen like they regular really people, bro. And that's what a lot of people be mis- mis- misconstruing it too. Like, see me, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even want to be no celebrity. I don't want to be no superstar. But you know, if that shit was to even happen, I would do everything on my day to day normal as if I'm not even a celebrity or a superstar. Like, just do shit by yourself. Go to the bar by yourself. Even to this day, I do little shit by myself where people would be surprised. Like, damn, you by yourself like that? Yes, because it make people give you the illusion of, like, all right, he don't even think he that big, or he don't even think he's that. You get what I'm saying? And that's what make people fuck with I you I thought that's real boss status, bro. You really yeah. can do shit by yourself. I've been looking at some people, where they have, like, 30 people everywhere they go. Because yeah, they want everybody to be... That's the guy. Like, yeah. bro, you got to chill, bro. You can be well, by you yourself. You get to that cool level, though. You don't got to move like that. You don't yeah. got to be like that. Even some girls I be knowing, like, they let, like, followers get to their head and shit like that. Oh, my God, yeah. I don't be like, not even, like, some chicks, they might have been in one me back, and all of a sudden, it's like, you don't got no <laughs> rap for a nigga who, um... You don't got no like rap for a nigga who got, like, a regular job. Like, that shit yeah, be... Yeah, bro, that's it be, it be like, like, it get to their head, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, you had a couple people saying you some shit, okay? You let that shit get to your head. You're, you're, you're ambassador for Fashion Over. I know yeah. the owner. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Do. Like, it be girls that really be like that, bro. Speaking of that, bro, I'm on your Twitter, bro, like, the other day and shit. So I, <laughs> I'm on your Twitter, bro. I'm just, I'm on, I'm really on Twitter. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm an interview, man. I'm on his page. The first thing I see, like, a rap house TV. Is, is rap house legit? Oh, like, no. They rap house? I, I, yeah, they, they say they is. No, nah, you, you can buy that shit now. Oh, for real? On Twitter. Yeah, they just buy the blue check. Yeah, see that, too. I ain't even buying, I don't want no blue check no, no more. No, I think that's clown shit, bro. I don't want no no more. Because I'm not paying eight ninety nine a month for no check, bro. Mm-mm. Like, that's crazy. Too many bluffing ass niggas got it for me. Yeah, like, it need a check tester. Yeah. Look, 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 look. I think Shorty went viral for, um, they say a woman gone viral after her date invited her to an NBA basketball game, then left him because the seats he bought was so far away from the court. And then, then Ben, like, he gave his two cents. I ain't gonna lie. The problem with society now is mm-hmm. girls don't look at some niggas for their potential. Girls want instant gratification. Some niggas actually turn that shit up, so watch. Why should you shit on, especially if he a genuine nigga, a girl that to me before? You met, like, a girl, like, did you at the game like that before? No, she just ain't really look at me for my potential. She was just looking at me for, like, the now type shit. But I I don't know, like, for me... Because I want to know your standpoint on this, like, like, yeah, like where I is this coming from? Because I know you probably For me, really... it'd, be girl, it'd be girls and their egos, like... I feel like this nowadays, like, I feel like a lot of girls, even in Baltimore, anywhere for real, but I feel like a lot of girls here in Baltimore, and I ain't down talking girls, I don't ever want to seem like, um, yeah, no, no, this, uh, this, I this hate women that. or nothing, but it's for the this for the girls who be on this vibe, because you got to humble them a little bit. I be feeling like girls be more so on a tight time, like, they say they want a rich nigga, they say they want a nigga with this coming in, they say they want a nigga with that coming in, all that shit be cat. You say you want that, but what is you doing? You get what I'm saying? And a lot of these girls with these standards... You ain't even this shit in your life to even be acting like that or mm. saying that you want this and you want that. What have you done? You get what I'm saying? How you gonna shit on a nigga for saying he brought you to an NBA game? He might really ain't have it. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. at the same time, it's like, damn, you can't shit on a nigga and leave him because he ain't have it. That nigga could be a millionaire tomorrow, bro. Yeah. How you on floor seats? I'm the type of nigga who I had a I had a girlfriend in 2020. I was doing DoorDash. She was getting in the car with me, doing DoorDash with me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I had to wake, wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, go to Amazon. She waking me up. She ain't know I was going to be with no fucking doing I'm doing now. You get what I'm saying? But she stuck it out with me. She was fucking with me out the strength because she saw my potential. And I really fucked with her. You get what I'm saying? Girls nowadays, they just want that instant gratification. Yeah, he not with famous people right now. He not doing this. He not that. That's like these girls lost. Like... <laughs> They really lost, bro. I'm telling you. And I see it firsthand because nowadays these girls want BBLs, uh, big they titties. Even, they, they don't even be loving themselves, bro. Yeah, they, they so quick. They say they want a rich nigga. They want to be a bad bitch. How about you be a good person? Be a good person first. I didn't think I was going to flow in your life regardless. Yeah. That'd be number one. Girls be worrying about being a bad bitch. Be a, je- a genuine yeah, person. Nah, fact. You I know what I'm saying? They always want to be the fucking... Yeah. What, what they be saying? Like, I'm, a, shit, I'm a nigga worth proud. And that shit be like, cat. I, that I shit know. be cat. Most of them be having shit going on. Never did nothing. 
I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, these girls are fuck any nigga with a Cuban. I'm telling you. You said a Cuban? Yeah, fuck any nigga with a Cuban. That's all you got to have is a Cuban. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Yo, the Cuban is crazy, bro. That's all you need is a Cuban. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit, that. You know how many niggas ain't going to buy a Cuban? You now? could be living with your mother, dummy. You could be living with your mother in a basement. And there's nothing wrong with that for the niggas who is. Yeah, you, you grind it. Yeah, grind, grind it out. But I'm saying yeah. that to say, a nigga with a Cuban shouldn't be living in a basement uh, with his mother. But I'm uh-huh. saying that to say, it's niggas like that, that these bitches will fuck. I'm telling you. Nah, fact. Yo, I know, like, that shit annoying, though, like, I, like, you probably, I'm sure, like, when you in your workspace, right, mm-hmm. you know, you do, like, a lot of, like, videos, like, in the community and shit, right? Like, say, me doing a video, me doing a video, it's people outside and shit, right? Yeah. Is that, like, annoying, like, female, like, pestering you and shit? Like, you trying to work and shit like that? Well, yeah. like, because they know what you do, they, like, you trying to do don't really be pestering me while I be working. Um, I feel like when I be locked in, I be locked in. I don't really be worried about girls. It be more so me seeing them around around them. And I feel like that was another good thing that I learned at a young age, too. I learned how to decipher the girls that's, you know, groupies. Because honestly, if you've been realistic, like when I be in them environments and I be working around that, I see I get attention because, like, I'm a fly cameraman. You get what I'm saying? And I'm cool, chill. I'm like one of the guys. I ain't really... A corny nigga, Damn, we by, too by far. Yeah. You feel I just be chilling, but you gotta understand, I'm a little bit like a goose. And what I mean by that is, like, see how I dress now? I might dress like this to work, and I might be with me the whole day, like this, chilling. I'm a little mad he put that shit on for the spotlight, but nah, it's cool though. It's chilling. Nah, he icy, yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. but but I'm saying that to see like a girl going automatically look at all the niggas with the chains on that might be in the room. It might be me and four other rappers, and niggas with them that got on. Change. It could be the the rappers change the niggas got on, but either way, they don't look past me. I could really be litter than the niggas that the rappers came with. But about their parents, about their parents. You, you know, get what I'm saying? So that's another thing when I was younger that taught me, like, you know, don't go at the girl for excuse me, the looks because at the end of the day, it's like just pay attention to little like little vibes and energy. Like, don't take me wrong. I've been a few times where some chicks was like, man, I want, I want him. Like, the camera, you know what I'm saying? The camera guy, or whatever you call it, you know what I'm saying? And it because of energy. And you could tell from that girl, you'd be like, oh, uh, yeah, she not like them. You, can, you feel me? Because if she was, she would. And the, uh, as I was younger, I kind of could understand the difference between, like, girls that's in it for that versus, like, you know what I'm saying? Because girls, they'll show you what type of bracket of a, Tax bracket of a, you know, a nigga yeah. they want to deal with. They'll yeah. tell you without telling you. I don't lie. I'm a strong believer in, bro. Like, people uh, uh, tell you who is, you just got to listen. Because not even no, not even no new, like, on some real shit. I know niggas be ugly as shit, but they got Cubans on. I know in my heart, bro. She don't want that nigga. He just got Cubans yeah, on. Yeah, he's just icy. Icy. You get what I'm saying? You, yeah. ever, think that, you ever think that, though? You ever but, look like, bro, how she be, fuck on him for? Bro, I be saying some, bro. You, you take chain, them chains off a couple niggas? <laughs> I'm y'all telling know, you. Y'all know who y'all are. I be seeing some ugly duckling, duckling looking niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. Y'all be icy, though. The little girl with damn show be like fly. The niggas with guts, double chin. The lane gut. Yeah, all that. The lane I'm gut. Telling you. The niggas said the fat cut with the double chin. I'm telling you, bro. That shit real. Yo. No, nah, that, that, that shit is. You know, like, <laughs> bro, I'm really goofy this shit. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I can never be serious, bro. Actually, I uh, you know, like hip hop culture, right? Like, mm. I feel like with hip hop culture, we really just focus on like the music and shit, and mm. you know, and the players, mm-hmm. you know, the artists. But it's like, bro, like, like I said, this is the age of information, bro, and like videography, all that shit is like on another level. Mm. I want to know, like, how important is that, like, in the hip hop culture? Like, what you do, you behind lens twenty four seven. Um, I feel like it's. Getting the artist's vision to come in life, um, telling a story. I feel like all those things is like compact things that, you know, it makes somebody want to watch a video 10 times or, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. 11 times. Like the times, like this video that me and me just came up with last, we only dropped that video last Thursday. <laughs> Like this video, I feel like so many people just kept hitting me. Like, bro, I watched this video like ten times. Like, that shit hit me just from watching it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that was a that was a structure, man. Meek, like we probably been shooting that video for probably like 
months down there, yeah, just throughout that whole video. Like, it been, you know, we add, add into it, add into it as we go, you know what I'm saying? So it, it it's like a huge part because you tell a story when somebody got a video. Like, to, for me, I still look at music videos today to give me certain aesthetics or visions of how I feel about me, the things that um I'm trying to accomplish, I want to accomplish it. It even might help me with my swag for that day. Like, all right, this is the type of swag I might be on the day, or this is the vision I'm going for today. So there's a lot of things like like videos and stuff like that that help the hip-hop culture push forward because you got to see the visual for it. Uh, yeah, and I feel like, especially when you say, like, it's kind of, you said, like, making a movie, right? Mm-hmm. It's in, painting a story. Yeah, Paint but I story. feel like you actually, like, are, like, taking, like, a time capsule, capsule bro. Yeah. And just putting that shit in stone. Because it's mm-hmm. like, if you look at music videos from a couple years ago, they was not as lit as they are now. It might be more people involved. I, I feel don't like. Know. I feel like at times, I was like, we should get back more into the stuff that was a little bit calmer. I feel like sometimes a lot of effects and a lot of, Extras added, it could take away from the aesthetic. I low key like the the vibes that was going on in like 2012 to me was like top tier vibes. Like I think to this day, my favorite music video that still like is so fire to me is um Kendrick Lamar, "Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe." That video to this day is like oh that's that even that song. Like when I look at the video, it, it touched me so much more. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. Definitely a fire jump for sure. I mean, nah, I, I feel that because a lot of times do be getting into that shit. Like mm-hmm. now, like ain't nobody got AI artificial intelligence and shit. Mm-hmm. People add like a lot of AI stuff into the video. Sometimes it do kind of like it's like, damn, bro, you stand in the middle of the street and now like you got a skeleton on your face. Like, how the fuck that happened? Yeah. In the music video, sometimes like some shit do kind of like add mm-hmm. and take yeah. away from it. So it depends what artists you dealing with. I feel like that's all it depends on. The so do some artists be telling you when you work with them like, bro, I don't want all that extra shit. Me, mm. yeah, you like all shit cinematic for real, so okay, and that's kind of like like the, like the basic action shit, like movie I style. I want to say, I want to say, yeah, movie style more okay. so. Yeah. That's hard, you know. Speaking of the music videos, bro, like, I right, before I even show you this, but thing is, I made this question like we in twenty twenty four. I made this question a year ago. Mm-hmm. Cause I want to interview you last year. I don't think we really got around the door. I don't even think I hit you up about. To mm-hmm. be honest. But I was on Twitter again. Like, I ain't like, yo, but you believe you're on Twitter sometimes, bro. Like, <laughs> sometimes just teaching you know, yeah. I be having my moments a little bit. Sometimes. Yo, somebody, the, the, the video gone, but you recognize this? Somebody posted a video you did for Lil Uzi Vert. Mm-hmm. I think that shit got leaked. And you yeah, just, I think I was mad. I started tweeting Yeah, out. like, this unreleased, I don't want to write. This is my content. How y'all get, how y'all get this video? Mm-hmm. Bro, when that shit like that happened, do you have to, like, tell Uzi, like, that shit leaked? I think it. It was his people. It wasn't my people, though. His people leaked it? Yeah. He probably sent it to somebody and they wound up leaking it. But it that sure Aye. wasn't. I don't think it was my leak, if that makes sense. So what is that process like when shit get leaked, bro? I ain't gonna lie. I got hella unreleased music from a lot of people. That was, that was, that was, that was, that's the thing. That was my first time. In all the years I've been doing big shit, this is like my, this my first and only time. And you got to understand, I sent that to Uzi. A, a, a few different times, and one of his people from his cat, they asked to get it, and I sent it to them. So that's usually like not my protocol by far. So that's how I knew for a fact it wasn't through me. None of my music videos ever get leaked. It never has yet to get leaked. Me and Meek got thirty videos. Yeah, not on what, but him got thirty videos. None of my shit ever got leaked. Nah, so. that's hard. So you don't sell to everybody when you doing this shit? Nah, right? I don't know. It's definitely from somebody from Uzi Can. And man, Uzi talked about it. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was just with him. Hella t- different times throughout 2023, throughout the, that whole year. Of course, 2024 just started, so, but. He was cool about it? Like, it kind it of wasn't, just... It was like a throwaway, for real. It was just a little oh, video. Oh, damn. Yeah, right. throwaway. It was a, I still posted it. It still got love. At the end of the day, it's a leak that got directed by CV on it, and it's a, a Uzi video, so it's like. That's shit already knows we got. Yeah, man, Uzi still got other stuff coming, so it ain't like a big thing, but it's just a different protocol how you would move forward doing another video, for sure. Yeah, okay, so on your end, it's kind of like, all right, we locked them, but next time, can I just send to you? You only, that's how I would be. Yeah. So it don't get out. I respect that. I respect yeah. that. I don't even want nobody to think my shit be getting leaked. My shit don't never get leaked. Nah, it, it shit don't be getting leaked, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit don't get leaked. I be wondering, like, what the people be saying, though, because, like, if you go on, like, I don't got no, I don't got no leak, leak, mill song, but I got holidays, I got, like, I release baby. 
Hell of shit. Um, I be wondering like what they be saying like that shit get out. If I said to my person, nine times I attend to somebody that's hype, that's like, I got uh so such and such sent, sent me unreleased baby. Yeah. Nobody got this whole time. It would be like all it takes is one person, bro. Yeah. That's hype to be like, yeah, send us a dose of nobody. You know what I'm saying? That shit end up on YouTube and yeah. your Dropbox, oh, everything. Right. As you continue to like evolve, bro, and like step into your purpose, mm-hmm. and you know, like as a man, and you know, with the photography, I don't know, like the conversations with like your parents and like you know your family, where they like now compared to when you first started up. Um. Man, my mother probably worried. My mother probably worried way more now, I feel like, than when she did when I first started. Yeah. Uh, My father, I don't, I don't think he give a fuck like that. Not saying like that, but I don't think he that in tune with, like, what I got be having going on. I think my mother and my grandparents, they worry much more now. They worry much more now, you know, than when I first started because I got so much bigger, I feel like. And there's a lot that come with that. Like, when I be outside... They don't want me in like the wrong, please wrong time or just being out and dumb shit happening. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it, it it's definitely like a sense of them worrying much more now, I feel like, than more so when I started. And right. I'm older too, and I'm around more stuff, so it's easy to. And they don't even gotta be no violent shit. They just be wanting me to be smart. Like, right. don't get a bitch pregnant. Don't, uh, like, drive smart, don't get no DUIs. Like, you know what I'm saying? They know you outside, they know you living crazy, but they just want you to be smart. I, I feel like that's, like, the biggest thing. Yeah, it be the little shit that really add up. Like, huh? It be the little shit that really add up, the bigger thing they yeah. be so worried about. Mm-hmm. And sometimes she- you move so fast. And me, I was, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I was moving extremely fast, bro. At, when I first got on, I'm 21, you couldn't tell me. I just was telling my mother this yesterday. I'm like, I was like, damn, I really was crazy, huh? She was like, yeah, she like, you was tweaking out. Like, you couldn't tell me nothing. Now I'm so much more humbler. I'm so much more calm. I know how to say, like, no, nah, I'm a child. I'm like, I ain't going out. I ain't drinking. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff like that. But, bro, it's 21, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was... You gotta think, bro. You got, you might, I might got a chick in the passenger. I'm driving, <laughs> going 100 miles per hour, 80, driving 80 miles per hour. Really, like God telling me, like, what is you doing? Like, you, I might be drunk. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm on top of the world. You can't tell me nothing. But well, that moment, it, though, I feel like we kind of like yeah. deserving no one saying. I ain't gonna say that, but it's about being smart too. You don't need to be drunk driving, going. 80. I mean, oh, you was busted. Yeah, like just do oh, anything. Bro. Not crazy busted, but nigga been drinking, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So I'm on think I'm on top of the world. Like I could do whatever. And all reality that make girls even more like, oh yeah, he really living even more wilder. Like he don't give a fuck if he crashed. You know what I'm saying? Little shit like that. And as I've gotten older I've slowed way more like it's it's not that deep. You can slow down. My I ain't gonna say no names, but I'm looking at my, my big brother's door that's on in the industry and stuff. I'm looking at them door and I'm thinking like right, I could come home, I could do it, but that's the life. This is my life. You got what I'm saying? So I had to kind of, no, no, call to chill. And ain't, you know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I slowed down. You got that self-realization, though, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I had it. They want to keep trying up, bro. God had that self-realization. But at the same time, I can't blame myself. You 21. Average 21 year old still in college. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, was, oh, I don't know what they going to do. Man, I ain't had no kids. Still don't got no kids. Not no what. Uh... That was not. I mean, I, I, yeah, I still don't got no kid at 24, but I was 21, no kid, no real responsibility. It's like, what you expect? What was y'all doing, though, at 21, for real? We been real. We, like, what, was, what, was, what was y'all doing at 21? at 21? I think I was going to bully. See, I'm saying you in college still. Yeah, I was, yeah. was going to bully and doing this, but I was going to ask you, though. 21, mm-hmm. yeah, I was ready. God, yeah, I had like... At that point, I'm going to all types of different high bodies, all types of shit. Yeah, the motion different. Life. So, and you young, bro. Yeah, I ain't... Couldn't really tell me shit. But. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Was mm-hmm. you around like I would like oh, like being in them environments, but other twenty one year olds that you was like around and shit? All older people all the time. Even even like even like the females but I would run into, they was all older. Like is mm-hmm. like my ex well my ex though, we we talking a little bit now. Um she probably the only girl, but I was probably my age that I was at that time, you know what I'm saying? It was like we you feel me? No, nah, for sure. Everybody yeah. else was just was just older. Yeah, that's that's usually how it is. Mm-hmm. Old people they gonna fuck with you though, bro. You're younger, you trying. 
Like, yeah. they always do. I, that's I ain't never like. at my age either, so. Yeah, you got to mature, bro. Mm-hmm. So I feel like old people gravitate towards you even more. Did people yeah. be surprised when they found out you only 24? I feel more surprised when I, was, when I was telling them I was 21. Now, like, I'm 24, they be like, oh, right, I bet you was probably, like, 26, 27, like, a little shit like that, yeah. but. You know, I'm getting older now, so this shit catch up. Eventually, it's going to catch up. Like, I've been like this since I was 21, but it, you would have to been there when I was 21 and really feel it. But when I was 21, it was definitely like a, you feel me? Like, for sure. That's different. You know, like, you're an entrepreneur, right? And you stand on entrepreneurship, and I got to respect that. Yeah. I stand on the same thing, but like, entrepreneurship, honestly, that, I don't know nobody with a nine to five, I don't. But I just feel like, you know, you your own boss, bro. Like, it's no different feeling. That's when you get paid for doing what you love to do. Mm-hmm. That's when that shit hit different. But it's like, because I ain't gonna lie, it sound like you trying to settle down a little kid. You're 24, so you get into that phase, you kind of like, yeah. it ain't declining, but like, eventually you start to slow down for real. I'm just knowing the business side that come up being in a long time relationship, long time relationship with somebody and, you know, being with somebody. Um, it ain't nothing else, bro. Like, it ain't. I say no love. I say no love. Like, the BBOs from the. Big titties to the ones with the jury. I seen all levels of it, you know. So, let me ask you this. You used to, like, be locked in with a female. Was she had to be an entrepreneur, too? I want my shit. Like, my ex-girl, which, you know, we talking now. I keep saying that. If she see this, it's going to be like, damn. She's going to be happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she, like, with my, with my, with, I ain't going to keep saying my ex. With with her, she, she's an entrepreneur. She's doing amazing things. And. It was more so, man, her started together. She was the one who motivated me to really, like, all right, lock in with your craft. Like, she the first girl to give me business cards, all types of shit. So it was, like, for me, you know, that's somebody who I wouldn't even mind trying to invest in futuristically. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would put her in a position where it's like, all right, let's get you a suite or your own nail salon, and we just promote it how we need to promote it. And... You know, you be a boss, you know what I'm saying? We and we go from there. You know what I'm saying? But she's definitely somebody who she she trying to figure out like me. And I feel like just her business mindset in general is so like elite. I don't think she understand like how that helped me get to my level now. And sometimes, you know, even when we wasn't talking, it was like I really probably needed that, but she wasn't around to really necessarily mm. help me with those steps in my life. But you know, now that we getting older, um she experienced life. In her different ways, I experience life in my different ways, but, you know, God willing, it's probably... You know, I ain't like my shoulder, but you know how I many people really break up and don't never, like, can they be cool? Like, no, I'm real shit, but, <laughs> we like, had all, we, had all, we had all times. I mean, no, that, that's how it should be, but, yeah. no, nah, I can just see, the, like, the respect you have for, I don't know her name, so I ain't gonna call her shorty, yeah. but for, uh, Miss Lady, that's cool. My name Liz, cool. Oh, all right. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I respect you. <laughs> I respect you got from Miss Lay. Like that's cool though, bro. Cause like you know what I mean, niggas, bro. Like don't be on that. Like, yeah. They don't, bro. Like they probably like, oh my ex, bitch. <sighs> nah, I don't really. She ain't you nothing for me. Whole time she done bust me thirty business cards. Yeah, I don't be on that. Uh, Cause I know my level too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know her worth, but I'm 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 healthy, so my mind is like. I know her worth, you know what I'm saying? She ain't, to me, I don't feel like she a regular girl. or That's she, good. She never was like that to me. And I've came across a million girls, so I feel like they whatever, but she never was like whatever to me, so. Nah, that's yeah. fantastic, bro. Do you, like, you don't accomplish a lot, bro. Mm-hmm. Throughout, starting 2018 and 2019, I mean, 20, and 2018, early 2019. What, pictures? Yeah, so yeah. that's like four and a half years, mm-hmm. give and take. You don't reach a lot of milestones. I want to know, like, what's like a milestone you want to reach this? Uh, hold on, let me ask you. Do your thing, do your thing. Hey, hey, oh, I'm at an interview. I'm at an in- I'm at an interview right now. Oh, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut. So I'm done. All right. <laughs> you gotta keep that in there. <laughs> hey, oh, I told him keep that in there. <laughs> oh, I said, "What's up, boy?" <laughs> I'm mad right there. Hey, yo, hell no, dummy. He called me out. They check on my two and shit. Nah, like that's that. good though, bro. But my man said, "What's up, boy?" Yeah, what's hey, up? Yo. <laughs> but no, nah, nah, I was saying like you reached a lot of milestones like over these past four and a half years, right? Yeah. What's the milestone you want to reach this year? It, it only had to be photography, though, bro. I mean, like definitely leveling up in other business and other 
just trying something new. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want everything to just be based upon photography, videography, this shit. I want to do other business ventures. I want to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. I want to level up more different sides of business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to do so much more. So for me, it's like, shit, let's take it to the stars, bro. Why not? Fuck it. Mm. So that's like my biggest thing I'm trying to reach for sure. Let me ask you this. This might be a crazy take. Have you ever thought about being on the other side of the camera? Like, in the camera? I don't know. That's actually crazy. Um, See, like, in high school, right, I went to acting. I went to, like, this acting summer camp in, like, the 10th grade. I think it was, like, 10th going to 11th. And for some reason, bro, like, I really I really was, like, a lead role. Like, they made me, like, the lead mm. role. So I really could act. I really could rap a little bit. I could do all those things. It's hard for me to come be in, the, in front of the camera because I'm such a creative, I'd be liking just playing a cut, but I feel like I really am talented as an actor and a rapper in like my own little secretive way. Not saying I'm something I'm trying to pursue or anything like that, but it's definitely something like I would I would want to do because I'm just such a creative person. Not more so because I want the fame, I want the all the shit that come with it because I've seen all of those things being behind the camera. So it's like for me, I don't really care for the fame and shit. I just like it because I just love music and I love rap and Acting is actually something that's like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's dope to me. It's something I wouldn't. I'm I'm at that phase now. I'm willing to try anything. Not saying it just for the, if it makes sense. Yeah. I'm okay. saying that to say, like, I ain't against it because I'm, I'm a creative person. I love art and things. You know, I ain't in it for the fame or anything. When you put your all in something, that shit come with it alone. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. if it's good work. So for me, it's like more so, I feel like people should know I ain't really in it for the fame or the cloud of that shit. It's just. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to Honestly, do. I feel like, bro, before you even start acting, I was going to tell you, bro, like, I feel like you should really try it, though. Yeah. You got to think, bro, like, a lot of time, you spend a lot of time behind the camera, so you know, like, you comfortable right on right now on camera. You know how yeah. this shit works. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't saying you got to go out there and look for a lead role on BMF. Nah, but, like, mm-hmm. get your foot wet. Like, get your foot in that water. I might try that this year. Yeah, all right. But we're going we gonna to hold you to it forever. When y'all yeah. see him, son, I'm pulling that clip up. They was going to act. Yeah, let me try for that. Sure, for sure, Fuck it. Yeah, you, bro, you got, bro, I ain't like, I've been on that lately, though, bro. Like, mm-hmm. so many opportunities really be, like, knocking at my front door. And, like, bro, I don't shy away from none of them. Right. Like, none of them, because I was looking at it as, like, you only get, I don't, I, I ain't even going to say YOLO. Because I don't, that's that other shit. Mm. But you really do only live once, though, bro. Like, for sure, mm-hmm. for sure. Like, so any opportunity you get, you got to, like, take it and run with it. Like, so right. any, any, any thoughts you get, you got to take it and run with it. That's how I always been. Right. That's real, though, for sure. Like, yeah, you got to be like that. Like, I, honestly, I get irritated when I see people, like, they have, like, opportunity or they have a thought. Oh, I feel like they'd be too scared. Like, for me, I used to always, like, <laughs> it's so crazy because I used to always, like, try, like, uh, what is it? I would try like little stuff, but I would be scared to do it because of what other people think. Yeah, I got that, bro. So, in the 2023, I made my first song. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to see what happened. I just, I just did it just to do it. It was cool. Um, It was something to just do creatively on the creative tip, but you know what I'm saying? I had to understand. I, I had to master my craft first before I could jump into that. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, there's a lot man to act. There's a lot man to rap. But you know what I'm saying? You got to master what you're good at and what God puts you at a high level to do. You know, you master that first. Then you could probably hop into the other shit. But I was just like, you know, fuck it. But, but you had that thought and you acting on it, right? Yeah, I, I'm that's starting to I mean. do that more. Just say, fuck it. Like, yeah, what's the worst that you have? That's how you got to be. I, bro, the same thing, bro. Like, if you really know me, you know, like, I had a couple, like, acting auditions. Like, I didn't get them. But right. I never tripped because, like, I wanted to do that, bro. Like, you right. feel me? Mm-hmm. I look dumb as shit, bro, acting the same out. Like, because mm-hmm. I'm comfortable on camera. I'm cool. Yeah. You feel me? But, like, my thing is, though, like, I really tried it, though. So it was like, why yeah. not try? I think a lot of us need to, like, get on that, bro, trying. Yeah. You know, I want to know, like, what's, like, if you had, <laughs> if you had, like, one last, like, one last big affirmation to make, right? Mm-hmm. Motivation, right? You was talking to another kid in East Baltimore coming up, walking down St. Louis Drive. Who would you say to him? Uh, you could be anything you want to in the world. I would say that, pal. Okay. Don't even think twice. Like, if you feel like you want to try something, do it. On your second guess yourself. You can do it. Anything you want in the world. Anything. 
as long as you put your mind to it. That's what I would say. Okay, I fuck with that. That's facts, though, because you really can. Yeah. As long as you just try, There's so bro. many kids that was walking down St. Louis with me that just probably gave up on life or saying, like, I ain't going to really get nowhere. See, me, I was I was the kid that was bumping me walking down St. Louis Drive. Like, nah, I'm going to really, you know what I'm saying, really get to get to where I need to be. I was one of those kids, so I ain't never really, I always knew I was going to make it far, but it was just a matter of believing in myself. So a lot of them kids, they didn't get there because they ain't had that drive to, you know what I'm saying, say, like, all right, this is, mm. this is what I'm going to do, you know what I'm saying? I was like, no, nah, I'm going to get there, so. No, nah, thanks, bro. I ain't going to lie, I appreciate you for coming on. Uh, Already, bro, for sure, yeah, for sure. Really. Always, definitely. For sure, look, man, moment finally, episode five for the year. We out of here. Bro.